and begin. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Samuel, and today we'll discuss the subject of living with purpose. Robert, uh, Robert Bain, an American author, said that the purpose of life is a life of purpose. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, you do not know your purpose until you know what you can die for. What is purpose? Purpose can be defined as the reason for existence. When you determine your purpose in life, it affects your decisions, behavior, goals, direction, and meaning. For example, uh, we remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today because he pursued a purpose. He was a human rights activist. Um, he touched American uh, people's uh, lives through his purpose. He so believed in his cause that he paid the, alpin, uh, the ultimate price uh, for it. Um, the reason why we are all here in school okay, is, number one, we want to make it in life, right? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> number two, to self-actualize, or in, a, in other words, um, to reach the highest potential of yourself. You've probably thought about the term purpose uh, one time or the other. And I have uh, researched uh, the, uh, the subject of purpose uh, for several years now. So today, I want us to discuss the problem of lack of purpose, the cause for lack of purpose, and how to live with purpose. Let us define the problem for lack of purpose. A recent research by Forbes, uh, uh, which surveyed 2,000 US adults, found that 75% of Americans believe in ultimate purpose for everyone. In the same survey, 50% of Americans are looking for purpose. To live with purpose means to go beyond just surviving or existing. It is the moment you decide to act on behalf of others, or for the sake of others, in order uh, to change the, uh, the situation from what it is to what it ought to be. Let us look at the causes for lack of purpose. The main cause for lack of purpose is the hardship of life and desire to survive. For example, because of scarcity of uh, resources in the world, many people make pursuit of money, their primary goal in life. Abraham Maslow, uh, the author of the book, The Theory of Human Motivation, explained this concept very well in what is famously referred to as uh, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. According to Ma uh, Maslow, human needs are met starting with the most basic ones. For example, when a human being is hungry, out of, of scarcity, you've probably not been there yet. When a human being is hungry out of scarcity, they think about food. I mean, uh, when a human being uh, is hungry out of scarcity, they think about food. They dream about food. They don't care about safety or love or self-esteem. However, when the problem of food is saved, uh, is solved, the human being will try to go to the next level of the hierarchy, which is safety. Once the problem of uh, safety is solved, the human being will try to go to the next level, and so on and so forth. And therefore, you can see why it is so hard, or why it is hard for so many people to uh, automatically think about purpose. Because you have to first of all fulfill all these needs, which are referred to as the deficiency needs, and to start to think about purpose. Let us look at the solution for lack of purpose. The solution for lack of purpose is having knowledge. The reason why Maslow's hierarchy of needs applies in our life is because we are unconscious about it. Maslow's hierarchy of, need, hierarchy of needs is the default setting for a human mind. You can overrule its consequences by being knowledgeable and by living consciously. Let us look at uh, some of the things you can do in order to prepare yourself for purpose. Number one, investigate yourself. Know who you are. Sagur Vandal, uh, 
Kandel, uh, it's hard to read, it's an Indian name. So, so Guru Vandal, an uh, Indian author, said, the quality of your life is determined by the knowledge of yourself. If you live without a knowledge of yourself, it is like living aimlessly or randomly. It is like operating a computer without computer skills. You need to pay attention to the processes of your mind and body so as uh, to reach the highest potential of yourself. When you have full uh, knowledge of yourself, you're able to use your uh, strength fully and efficiently to reach the highest potential of yourself. Number two, set your standards and values as a human being. This is your personality. This is uh, your integrity. These are the, the things in your life that cannot be violated. Number three, live with intention. Newton's that law of motion states that for every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. This is relevant because it means uh, then that um, for everything that you do in life, you'll find a consequence. It is important, therefore, to watch your steps, to make sure that um, you have a, a goal in mind before you do anything. Every action of, your, of yourself should be determined uh, by your take a trajectory to your higher purpose. Number four, have a growth mindset. Carol S. Dweck, an American author of the book Mindsets, said that human intelligence is not fixed. It can be developed through learning and practice. This is important because many people fail to pursue a purpose because they feel inadequate. So, uh, therefore, um, human, the power of a human being is determined. Uh, the power of a human being is uh, determined by the quality and the quantity of information in his brain. This means, therefore, when you have a growth mindset, you can be able, uh, you are aware that you can grow your intelligence to the level of need. What, therefore, th what this means, therefore, is that you can choose any purpose in the world and pursue it with the knowledge that you can uh, develop your intelligence to the highest of need. It is therefore important to state that your purpose is your choice. Conclusion. The purpose of life can be defined as the, um, uh, the purpose of, life, of your life is a definition of who you are. It defines your decisions, behavior, uh, goals, and meaning. It follows, therefore, when you do not have a purpose, you do not have a, a sense of direction or meaning. I urge you, therefore, to pursue a, a purpose because your purpose is the gift to the world. Thank you. Thank you. Watch out, Tony Robbins.